Coco, gana. Coco, gana. Coco. So Coco brings business to Ghana, and that is why I find myself on this farm right now doing what I'm doing. If you are in Ghana, you are not into Coco business. You don't like money. This is a business, you know. So I have a question. Okay, you can respond in three. You can respond in English. The government said. We are no longer going to ship our cocoa beans from here to Switzerland. Everything, when you finish with the cocoa, the government is going to process it here in Ghana, change it to chocolate here in Ghana. Before they used to take it from here, then they send it to Abruzzi, and then they will do the processing before they will get the chocolate. But now the government says he wants to do the chocolate in Ghana. How does that make you feel? Is that correct? Is that correct? What, what, what's your thought on it? What, what do you think about the idea? Do you think it's good? Do you like the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you are talking, that the camera will come on you. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> So basically, everyone is talking about the value that this is going to bring with the government new policy, and that means that we are going to get more jobs, and um, we'll, be, we'll also be able to consume the chocolate because at this point, then it becomes affordable for the ordinary citizen to be able to consume because if it's produced here and we don't have to pay importation fee to bring in the cocoa then it becomes accessible to everyone and that is what all Ghanaians want and we are all excited go go ghana go go ghana go go yeah. ah, you are doing the job you are doing the job ah. So we've gone through the whole plugging of the pod. Now we have to go and break the pod and then prepare it for fermentation. So let's join the people whilst they do it. Come on, we'll do a ski. Boss, where, where can I sit and do mine? Come and sit. Uh, I should come and join you, eh? Okay. I want to sit somewhere here. Let me sit by you. My internet is said, long time. Oh, me, I'm okay. If, do you want me to sit on the floor? No. No, why do you Ah, okay. <laughs> Which is the right way? I see, I see some of you using cutlass, I see some using stick. The right way is the stick. Is the stick? Oh, then the pieces of the cutlass. Oh, uh, so this is what I have to use. Yeah. Mm, this is the best. How, how, how hard should I hit it? Should I hit it hard? Oh, it's depending on your strength. <laughs> no matter how much energy you put in, it's not affect the cocoa bean. Ah, okay. The reason for using the stick is that we want to avoid cutting the cocoa bean. Okay. When the cutlass is too sharp, yeah. it will cut the cocoa bean and immediately the cocoa bean gets cut or injured. Uh -huh. When you are drying, all those that have been cut, when the, during the process of the drying, the drying process, all these ones will go off. 
you see that it will open and the bean will fall through the, the mat. So that's why we use the stick. After the stick, there's no way the stick can injure the, the bean. Right. So right. no matter how hard you hit it. So just for the safety of the beans, you use you prefer the stick to the cutlass. Thank you. Okay. And you want to use the cutlass, it's supposed to be piece it's salt cutlasses like this. Okay. And it's supposed to be blunt, not ah. sharp. So you see most of them use the back instead of the, 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 the front. Uh, so that is why we prefer the, the stick to the car. Yes, there's one more thing I told you about when the cocoa overrides yes. on the tree. These yeah, are all the same the characteristics, the results. Oh no! You see that it has already germinated in the pot. So is it still usable? No, you can't use any one. You have to throw it away. So when you allow it to over, over, over mature uh -huh. on the cocoa tree, I mean, they, it is to the farmer's disadvantage. Okay. So this is why we have to throw it away. There's no way you can use this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we have the types of cocoa. Okay. We have the Amazonia, Amazonia cocoa. and the Cairo. Okay. And then the hybrid. Between the Cairo and the Amazonia, then we get the hybrid. So is it that they mix the two to come up with the, yes, the hybrid? The hybrid. Okay. So the hybrid has a good characteristic in terms of growth. Oh. By immediately you transplant. By two and half, two to three years time, you start harvesting fall from, from the, the hybrid. Okay. But they look the Amazonia for it, it takes about four years. Five years before, before you the can tree get can mature. Yes, please. So but if the after the tree matures, how long does it take the farmer to harvest every year? We harvest usually two times in a year. We have the major season okay. and the minor season. Okay. The major season is usually October, November. And the minor season is this particular period. We are in August now. Okay. Somewhere May, June, July, then that is when we harvest the minor one. But during the October, November is when they harvest. If you were here, this same cocoa farm during the October, November, you, it will surprise you. It wouldn't have been like being able to harvest and breed the pot on the same day. But now they wouldn't have even covered half of that. Ah. I tell you, there's money in cocoa. So we have a sugar, we say cocoa. Cocoa! Ghana! Cocoa! Ghana! Cocoa! Business! So this is the whole um, breaking of the pot. And um, you have to... It's hard, eh? <laughs> Let's try now. Yeah, one. <laughs> so, hey, mommy. you have to do this. Is it, is it, see, this is a cocoa beans. Yeah. And you take it out like this. Oh, it's edible, so you can just. Hmm. <laughs> Time. And and also build the pots on time. You see the color of it, very white. This one, it is it is very heavy. I feel it even in my palm that is very heavy, as compared to this one. This was overdried, overripe. So this one, it has already lost weight. So with this, it will take you more before you can get the required kilogram. And this is to the disadvantage of the farmer in terms of monetary aspect. So that's why we are always advising the farmers to harvest the cocoa at this stage. So that when you break the pot, you get this result. And at the end of the day, you get more money as well. So break this pot and let's compare to this one. You see the bean color. Good. Remove it. Very beautiful. You see the color? Immediately you move, you see that the, the, the beans are very full. They are full and very attractive. The poppy is 100% on it. The sugar level is high, which will also contribute to the fermentation. And at the end of the day, you get the required chocolate flavor hey, in it. Uh -huh.
fermentation process. This is the fermentation process. Thank you. Okay. Some farmers were using mosquito nets. Mosquito net? How? How? Why would they use mosquito nets? You are surprised to hear this. Ah. They were using mosquito like nets. Others were also using black trolley bags. The one they used to dry maize on. Okay. Uh, yes. But now they have come to realize that the main purpose of uh, the fermentation mm -hmm. is to generate the chocolate flavor. Oh. The chocolate flavor. That is why we do the fermentation. So that is the main purpose for fermentation. What happens if it doesn't go through fermentation? You can't get the, uh, the chocolate flavor. Except the fermentation process that you are able to initiate the chocolate flavor. The chocolate flavor starts from here and not through the processing. It starts okay. from here. So as you have removed all the placenta, they have the correct beans like this. Mm -hmm. This is where the fermentation will take place and then at the end of the day, it, it goes through a process okay. which we don't have time to you know, elaborate it one by one. But the purpose for fermentation is to initiate the chocolate flavor. Right, right. So when you use the plantain leaves, Okay. It's the best material to use so that the sugar and the water that may exit from the cocoa beans mm -hmm. may be able to penetrate and get down. Okay. But when you use the rubber, you know the nature of rubber. Everything will be inside at the end of the day. By the time you come for the beans to dry, you see a lot of water inside the cocoa bean. The, the fermentation process will not be as we're expecting it from, from the, the use of the cocoa, uh, sorry, the plantain leaves. So now the farmer has come to realize that the use of the mosquito net, mm -hmm. and then they realize that the peripheries of the cocoa bean, you see most of them germinating. Okay. So when they are dry, they have to press it hard right, to right. break the germinated ones in order to get the beans. Right. And right. when you use the raw polybag, as I have explained, you know polybag generate heat. Yes, yes. So we have advised the farmers to use the plantain leaves as we are seeing here. Right. So that we could have proper germination for us to get the required chocolate flavor that we are looking for. So that is all about fermentation, fermentation in cocoa processing. Okay, and why are, I, I, I mean, I've joined the women to do this, but why are we doing this, going we through are, and taking the fiber out? Okay. Why don't we leave the fiber on we, it? We call it the placenta. The placenta, yes. so this is the placenta. Thank you. Okay, so this is the placenta. Yes. What holds the, bean, the beans together? Right. Yes, yes, Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now the placenta, as you agree with me, is only hold the beans together. Right. Right after breaking, it starts decaying. Okay. So when you leave it in the cocoa beans, the process of the fermentation will be affected in the sense that this will release, release a lot of unnecessary or unwanted water okay. as it's decaying and it will affect the fermentation process as we are talking about today. Right, and right. And even, you know, even with the placenta, we can't get the, the, the true color that we want after the fermentation. So that's why we have to remove the placenta right. and get only the cocoa beans. Mm. Mommy, what are some of the challenges you face when you are going through the fermentation process? Challenges a woman, they say, say, much, much, they say, I'm fat, say, I'm fat, so if I, you know. Plantain. Plantain, uh huh. Well, they have banana, and from cocoa, and I say, I'm fat, no, and you're not fat. Rubber, and I say, rubber, no, I'm fat, you Right. Okay. But apart from say government coming in to buy the cocoa beans, no, uh, or coming to take the cocoa beans. What are you able to use the, your beans for in the in the house? Are you able to grind it and then make your own chocolate at home or? So what about if there are some new technology that we develop in terms of training to just help people to also learn how to do your own chocolate at home so that when you are hungry you can just mix? <laughs> how would that make you feel? Okay, okay. okay. I mean, minimum six years on my yet, and waiting here a beer. See any uncle say to me, you see, you will feel. And you just have problems, and we do go when you do full talk. Give me months, I tell you, make me use you. Come on, meet me and be a man, and you mean you quite how it's if I quite fast with the age of creating. You will feel me and find. But when we chocolate, if I try, what types of chocolate have you seen before? 
Gamut Geeks. 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 Mahu bi minyak ni cai pun saya, saya nak beli. 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 Up to your back. So, up to uh, like the whole this is different. the whole one month time. This is three months, right? So, the whole three months you, you can't make a whole bag up. Oh, they do three months and they will and start to say. Okay. 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 Okay, we are. What's the next stage? They say this is a man who has six days. Six days. So it will be here for six days. Six days. Okay. If we are coming to the coffee, we are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. We are going to have to go to the coffee. So if I'm an investor, I have the money and I want you to do the cocoa farm for me. Will you be able to do it if I give you all the money that you need? Say, okay, at this point, no. This is the money you need to go and do the farm and get labors and those things. Will you be in a position to do it? Yes, sir. We bet me this, bet this can I want you for the camera? Say the one case a full run. But me too, you know. Me man is going in and up. Say, oh, okay. We say, oh, we need fifty seeds for workers. We need thousand seeds for the friends and harvest. You know, like I've made that money available. Me, 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 me manage this. I want fifty seeds, you know. Me for you, you know. I'm for workers. I'm more money. I need any year, my year. Any, 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 because men find if any na any man. Pan to me, pan to me. Because Obi share like Obi share video with us. Yeah, somebody is watching this video and they might want to go into cocoa farming. But he lives in abroad. He lives in the U.S. and I say he lives in um, Switzerland. And he he wants his family members here, or he wants to just get a farm and then somebody will be managing it for him. H how how easy is it for somebody of that sort to do a farm? Yeah, and they say Obi man ne needs so a come. But what is Switzerland? On the other hand, uh huh. If you need to know, you know. If you need to hear, then you will be or your or your papa will buy you a camera, mom. You will also have one. You will have one. You need a camera. You want to hear? She keep looking up. You want to hear? You want to hear? Or this can a man? Yes, I did. I'm a man. No one, man. I don't want to hear. You need to hear. Come on, man. I'm a man. I'm a man. To me, you can't just say any. Mom, from who? Between you, will be or buy you a camera, man. Hey. I need to say, I'm not going to be in Kuta Hudino. Adding to what has the suggest said, mm -hmm. if we advise that advise okay. you always not the best for you to be hundred percent absentee farmer. If you cannot come yourself, yes, at least to see it once in a while, mm -hmm. get somebody who can also monitor the head. The program, for the project for you. Okay. You can also liaise with the cocoa officers. Okay. Some of them can also assist. They provide the extension uh, advice, but they can also be monitoring it one one way or the other. Because as she said, with human beings sometimes a whole lot of challenges may come in, and instead of using the money for what you have been asking to do or to use for, it can be diverted. So we advise that. To go into farming, you shouldn't be hundred percent absentee farm. You should have at least once a while. You have time to visit and see whether what they are doing is in line with your agreement or agreement with the person or not. 
the link can also add to that. So you working as an extension, your work is what? Est extension officer. Extension officer, yes. working as an extension officer. Mm -hmm. um, what are the procedures that one needs to do to be able to invest into farming? Acquisition of the land is the first thing. And as I said earlier on, most of the lands are owned by the, the kings, families, and so on, and so forth. So acquisition of the land has always been a big challenge. For you to get the land to start the business is the first challenge. But once you are able to acquire the land, and for laborers, it is easy to get. The land acquisition is the first thing and it is the most challenging aspect of it all. And can foreigners own cocoa farm here in terms of partnering with locals to be able to... Sure. If, if that is the case, what does a foreigner also need to do to be able to invest into cocoa farming? Yes, my informal lecturer will say where you sit as an old person, depends on where you stand as a young man. It depends on whom you are going to align with, the person you are going to liaise with. My sister just said that some of them may disappoint you or may help you. So getting the reliable person to assist you whilst you are not around is also a big challenge. Uh, but yet, as I said earlier on, most of them used to, you know, arrange with their opinion leaders through assemblymen and some family heads. They are able to get land, and some people also sell their lands here. Even when I started working, I've witnessed about two, three farmers or families who have sold their land, which has been bought by other people, and they are using it for, for cocoa farming. So you can buy the land and then you get your people or laborers to assist in planting it for you. And now we supply the cocoa seedlings free to farmers. The SPD, right. they produce, they raise the cocoa seedlings and they will share to farmers. I will go to here for instance, this year we distributed 300,000 cocoa seedlings free to farmers. 300, free to farmers. So it's a matter of getting the land. That is the most important thing. So I also have another question. Um, I was told that the cocoa farmer does not own the cocoa farm. That is a statement that has been confusing me. Mm -hmm. Why is it that he does not own the cocoa farm and he cannot do whatever he likes with his cocoa beans? Okay. They own, as we are seated here right now, this particular farm is for this woman. It is hers, her own property. But you know cocoa, it's not like maize or cassava. Cocoa is not like maize or cassava where you can process it at your own house and use it. At all costs, she said it before, that if the farmer doesn't buy your cocoa beans, at the end of the day, what would you use it for? She couldn't have any answer to that. You can't use it at home. If you have a, maize, a bag of maize, and the buyer tells you, I'll buy maybe five cities, and you're expecting 15 cities, you can decide not to sell it to the farmer, uh, sorry, the buyer. The buyer, okay. You, you can use your, your, for any of that, but when it comes to cocoa, you can't use it on your own. That is why we used to say, the farmer doesn't own the cocoa. It is the authorities. But the cocoa farm is for the farmer. Yeah, but the same That is why, and, and two, we don't use the cocoa beans here. Even in Ghana here, we don't use the cocoa beans, we export it. So we have to do it and process it in such a way that your, your buyer outside or overseas may like the beans to buy. If they don't buy and they come back to Ghana, where is it going? What are we using it for? We can't use it to feed our poultry or even, the, we can't use it. So this is why you are the cocoa farmer, but you don't own the beans now. Oh. But right now, as we are sitting right now, at the end of the day, she's expecting the government to come and buy. If the right. government doesn't buy, where would you send it to? You can't take it to Accra market or Kanesi market or any market to say I'm selling my cocoa beans here. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a private entity, mm -hmm. let's say I also do chocolate at home, mm -hmm. how can I acquire the cocoa beans? Cocoa? Can I come to the farmer directly and say, oh, No, there you... are rules and regulations you need to go through, a long process. A long process? Uh, 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 I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like you the word long. There's a, a lay down process okay. that you have to go through before because the government also invests into the cocoa production. For instance, the chemical they use to control pests right. and disease is provided by the government. 
pruning, pollination, we call it PEP, production enhancement programs. Right. All these are sponsored by the government. So at the end of the day, when I have invested into your business and you choose not to sell it to me, how do I make even or break even? Right. So this is one of the reasons why the farmer alone doesn't own the cocoa because the nation invests into the cocoa. So uh, if somebody is into chocolate business or they want to start a chocolate business, that means that they will have to pass through the government to acquire process. the beans. Yes, please. And where, we are, some, have, where are some of the places we that have, you can get the beans? We have uh, other cocoa buying companies okay. who have registered with the uh, government of Ghana. Okay. And under, they have acquired the certificates. Yes. They have acquired certificates yeah. which have permitted them to you know, buy the cocoa beans. For instance, uh, where do you sell your cocoa, madam? Kuyapa, for instance, is a, a private company which have liaised with the government. You have been given the mandate okay. to buy cocoa in Ghana. Right. And the government own an institution, the PBC, produced by a company which okay. is owned by the government. So you can, cocoa, as we are saying, is a, a cash crop which is being, a lot of this investment is done by the state. Right. So you, you can't just come and say, I'm here to buy your cocoa beans and take it away like we sell beans and, sorry, beans and cassava. Right. Thank you.